गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वेलकम टू द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज मॉड्यूल सिक्स फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम परस्पेक्टिव वी आर गोइंग टू सी सो मेनी ब्यूटीफुल थिंग्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट द रोल ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम इन इन मैनेजमेंट परस्पेक्टिवज देन मेजर रूल्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स लाइक टी पी एस एम आई एस ओ एस डी एस एस ई एस एस ई एस के डब्ल्यू एस सो मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स आर देयर एंड वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स एंड हाउ टू यूज देम और हाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम्स विल बी यूजफुल फ्रॉम द मैनेजमेंट परस्पेक्टिवज for taking some uh, decisions etc and uh, at the same time we are going to cover the relationship among the different information system also so that is what the part for this uh, uh, session so basically this chapter that is uh, uh, what we can say management information system will tell us what is the concept of information system how to manage the information so that as an industry or as an organization or as an institute how we will use this information for the betterment of the institution that parts we are going to discuss so uh, let's see the syllabus so syllabus is very simple concept of information system components of information system uh, uh, rather i can say components of mis then use of mis role major role of mis mis stands for management information system i am calling this just a short form as an mis then major role of mis different types of mis as i said uh, to you tps mis os dss ess es kws in detail we will discuss in upcoming parts so and and what actually uh, the concept is so simply remember Uh, the meaning of information system is an information system is organized combination of people hardware software communication networks and data resources that collects transforms and disseminates the information in an organization that we will call as a meaning of information system so simply remember what actually that information system performs so information system is nothing but it is a combination who else is involved in this management uh, or who else is this in, uh, involved in the information system so the first part is people the one who are working over there the one who are the stakeholders the one who are the owner we will call them as a people simply remember human beings second is all your hardware parts all your software parts and how they are going to communicate with each others that we will collect together as a part of information managements so what else are the uh, types of information system so information systems may be uh, considered as organizational support support of knowledge work and management supports if we see in a histo- means, uh, hierarchical way at the base we will have a tps system called as what transaction processing system at the uh, knowledge based systems we can say that business intelligence systems office information system knowledge of management system so that is what the entirely support of the knowledge work <coughs> sorry and at the management support we can say that executive information system management reporting system and dss that is decision support system so this is a basic different types of information system organized in a proper hierarchical way you can say at the top of this triangle you will have the management support systems uh, at the middle you will say the knowledge work and at the last the bottom you can see the operational supports so operational supports support of knowledge work and management support these are the types of information system and in each type 
you have different different systems so for example in management support one will be responsible for executive information system second will be management reporting system and third will be decision support system so let's uh, let's take a simple organization and with respect to that organization we can discuss different different scenarios so operational support this is transaction processing system if i consider our college uh, that is uh, let's take simple example of Swery's College of Engineering or Swery as an uh, educational institute. Uh, the staff members, teaching staff, non-teaching staff and supportive staff, they are working over there. They are performing their daily duties, uh, routines. So that is I am calling as a transactional processing system as a part of operational support. Okay. Now uh, that uh, staff, teaching staff, non-teaching staff, they has to follow some rules regulations and that rules regulations was given them by an higher authority. For example, I am following the rules of my head of the department. So that is support of knowledge network. So there is a separate department who is managing all these parts. We are calling them head of the department. Each department has a head and that head of the department takes some decisions as per the given by the management. So the order of decisions will be given by the management to the head of the department and head of the department will get uh, done all the work by their respective subordinates. So this this kind of a decisions will be taken so management will be responsible for taking some decisions so considering this pandemic situation how the semester is going to get run overall total days who is going to take all these parts that that part will be done by the management support then at the head of the uh, being as a head of the department uh, he or she will be able to take the decisions start of the semester end of the semesters total lectures, total duration of the practicals, all, all these decisions will be taken as a part of a support of knowledge work and the respective staff has to follow the rules and regulations. So this is what the basic idea about the information system. So how actually this, this inform whatever the uh, working of the institute, organization or any industry that will be taken based on some part of a, uh, what or, or, or what we can say some rules and regulations. So let's define one more time what is management information system. So I will say simply MIS is defined as a system based on the database of evolved for the purpose of providing information to the people in the organization. So see if you see this triangle there are so many different things are related to each others. If management takes some decision the decision implemented by the HOD and forced to means what we can say pass to the uh, subordinates to the colleagues to work on it if anything goes wrong the decisions will be taken and reported to the management and management can change the decision so this is just an pass uh, what we can say simply trial error uh, kind of a scenarios so this is what we are planning we will work out with the plan if everything goes as per the expectation okay if not we will change some decisions so this kind of an information is passed from higher authority to the lower authority and the feedback will be going back again from the lower authority to higher authority and higher authority to the management i am calling this simply as a management information system so i will define one more time what is mis so i will say that mis is defined as a system based on the database of the evolved for the purpose of providing information to the people in the organization so i am calling this what mis <clears throat> so management information systems are distinct from regular information system in that they are used to analyze other information systems applied in operational activities of the organization so the uh, rules regulations set by the higher authority or rather uh, i can say as a management given to each and everyone and will be observed whether they are following it or not as per apart from their regular work so mis involves three primary resources what are the three primary resources that mis involves the first is the people second is the information and third is the technology so management information systems are regarded to be the subset of the overall internal controls procedures in the business 
which cover the applications of people, document, technologies and procedures used by the management to solve business problem such as costing a product, service or business wide strategy. So basically if I say <coughs> the purpose of the MIS is to understand the regular routines and try to solve the problems from the regular city, uh, regular uh, system by understanding the uh, routine works and hoping that whatever the problems coming over there try to solve that problems uh, regular problems or daily problems such as uh, in, in case of some product based company if any problem is coming try to reduce that problems if the cost of the product is high try to reduce how uh, what the strategy should be get applied to reduce the cost of the product etc these decisions will be taken based to be by the MIS that is management information system so I hope you are clear with the basic idea what is MIS what are the types of MIS so I, I just repeat meaning of the information system meaning of the information system is nothing but an information system is an organized combination of a people hardware and software along with the communication networks and data resources that collects, transforms and disseminates the information in the organization. We will call simply as a MIS. Then we have discussed the types of information systems. So basically in, in hierarchical order, remember first as a management support, second as a support of knowledge work and third as a operational supports. In management support, we can say uh, the systems which are working like executive information system, management reporting system and decision support system DSS. And in case of uh, support of knowledge work, we can say BIS that is business intelligence system, uh, office information system, knowledge management system as a part of support of knowledge work. And then we can discuss about the operational support. In operational support, we can say TPS, that is transaction processing systems. Then we have redefined the concept of MIS. That is, MIS is defined as a system based on the database of evolved for the purpose of providing information to the people in the organization so simply remember uh, as an our college our college is famous for it's a triple p that is pandarpur pattern in professional education so that come as a part of a management process which they have applied and the results are proved that if you have such type of a rules regulations and the one who is joining the institute will be given them to understand what is going in the institute and what is your roles and responsibilities so that they can easily play their role so we will call this simply concept as a mis in next lecture we will discuss about the role of mis